SOLIDWORKS Connected combines online, cloud-based PLM collaboration and our flagship 3D CAD tool in a single installation item. And just like SOLIDWORKS Desktop, if you get professional or premium, you get SOLIDWORKS Visualize Connected as well. Now there's no serial number because it's tied to your user login, and because it's cloud-based, it ensures that your software is always up to date. Let's take a look. You begin the installation by logging into your 3D Experience account and clicking on the compass. Select SOLIDWORKS Connected to start the installation. The first time you visit the platform, you may have to install the 3D Experience Launcher. And that'll place this icon right down here in your task tray for easy access to the platform in the future. Now when you click SOLIDWORKS Connected, it'll start the installation. Select the roles you'd like to install for, and you're on your way. Depending on your Windows update status, you may have to install a quick update to Java. But there's a hyperlink built right into this dialog box. Select the proper download to update your installation, and every user's experience may vary. My system only required a JDK update. All right, back to the dialog box, and we can finish things up. It's all self-contained. And after about a 20 minute download, depending on your internet speeds, you're ready to go. Now we'll use the 3D Experience Launcher in your task tray to log into the platform. Select your compass and launch SOLIDWORKS Connected. This will start SOLIDWORKS and log you in automatically to your collaborative space. Now the quick access toolbar is where it all starts. If you click File Open, you're automatically connected to your collaborative space and my session is always on for PLM interaction. You can also open data from your local drive and then save it directly to the cloud. To do that, we'll need to save it to the 3D space. In order to make changes, you'll have to reserve the file and take ownership. Now we can make changes and save those changes locally as necessary. And once we're ready to put a version in the vault, we'll go ahead and save to the cloud. I like to take this opportunity to add a bookmark to my file so I can find it easily later. Once the data is saved to your 3D space, you can export in all the typical file formats as needed. Here we can go ahead and save out SOLIDWORKS native data. Or we can export to all the popular file formats. Your data is now, of course, available anywhere where you can start collaborative actions and interact with other colleagues. Here we'll start a new collaborative task. And to make things super simple, we'll drag and drop to attach the file to the notification. And we'll invite Cody to take a look at our file. It's the local SOLIDWORKS performance and feel that you know and love, combined with online PLM communication and storage. And be sure to check out our other tools like SOLIDWORKS Visualize Connected and DraftSite Connected.